Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today, more than ever, organizations realize the importance of setting up a proper workflow in the credit management process. Credit workflows help in streamlining various credit functions, minimizing the room for errors, thereby increasing the overall efficiency of the process. However, how do you sequentially set up different components of credit management in the Oracle system? That's what we are going to discuss in this lesson. First, I will walk you through all the basic steps, then we will discuss the advanced steps involved in setting up the credit management and how you could leverage these integrations to evaluate your customers better and make faster credit decisions. So, let's get started. The first step of the Oracle credit management process is to define credit analysts. Credit analysts play an important role in assisting the resolution of credit-related issues and evaluate the credit worthiness of your customers. To define credit analysts, first, you define them as employees in the Oracle Human Resource Management System. Next, you import employees from HRMS into Resource Manager and assign their respective roles. It could be either a credit analyst or a credit manager. You can assign the credit manager role to a credit analyst as a credit manager has access to the setup functionality in Oracle Credit Management. The second step is to maintain customer data. Oracle Credit Management integrates with Duns and Bradstreet, using which you could easily retrieve the credit information of a customer. However, to get that information, you need to purchase it online from DNB and enable the integration between the eBusiness Suite and DNB. Second, it employs the DQM. DQM stands for Data Quality Management, which is a tool that provides powerful searching and matching functionality that determines the records that match specified search criteria or records that are potential duplicates of another record. The third step is to define hierarchical relationships. Oracle Credit Management uses a trading community architecture to define various hierarchies. TCA allows you to manage complex information about the parties, customers, or organizations, links the hierarchical relationship to make it a single entity, thus enabling a 360-degree view of your trading partners. The fourth step is to populate the summary tables. In Oracle, a summary table is used to store the latest financial information about the customers, enabling fast performance and processing efficiency. Oracle Credit Management populates two summary tables with Oracle receivables data, such as the amount of open invoices and the percentage of invoices paid late. During credit reviews, the system examines the data in these pre-populated tables, thus saving processing time. The two summary tables are ARTRX Balances Summary All and ARTRX Summary All. The first one stores the current balances, including the amount of open invoices and open receivables, whereas the later one stores data including the count of open invoices and total invoice value, which is summarized for a specified period of time. Similarly, there are two methods to populate the summary tables, the first one being the initial load method, where you manually set the options. Here, once you allow the Summary Table Refresh Profile option to Yes, the program calculates and loads summarized data from Oracle receivables for all customers. However, when the concurrent program successfully completes, the Profile option is automatically set back to No by the system. The second method is Continuous Updates, which is an automatic process. This method comes in handy when you want continuous access to the current data set during credit reviews. Here, all subsequent transactions for your customers are automatically captured in the summary tables. The fifth step is to set up and assign credit usage rules. In Oracle Credit Management, the credit usage rule defines the set of currencies that will share a predefined credit limit during the credit analysis and enable the grouping of currencies for global credit checking. These rules ensure that all transactions for the specified currencies are converted to the credit currency and included in data point calculations in the case folder. Credit usage rules are mandatory. Even if you perform credit reviews in only one currency or conduct your business in only one currency, you must still set up one credit usage rule. In this example, we have used currencies such as USD, EUR, CAD, MXP, GBP, and AUD. 
To assign these usage rules, you will have to assign credit information to the profile classes. For that, you go to AR Customer Profile Classes window, use the Collectors region on the Profile Class tab, and assign credit information to your customer profile classes. Then, you assign Customer Credit Classification Program, update the Periodic Credit Review Program, and assign the Credit Analyst. Once you do this, you could easily assign the usage rules to the respective credit profile types. In this example, we have selected Party Customer Customer Site as the credit profile type and United Parcel Service as the party. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you were able to understand the basic steps involved in the credit management process. To understand the advanced level processes, you could head over to the next video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.